Hello, I'm Simon Christie and welcome to this week's edition of 4 Wheel Drive TV. We've got another great blend of 4 Wheel Drive information and motorsport. Let's get cracking. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. Hi, I'm Lee. I'm at the Adelaide Four Wheel Drive Adventure Show, representing AAB 4x4 Accessories. It's been a great day, great weather. This has been the biggest show that Adelaide's seen for quite a few years. It's double the size, double the amount of vendors. It's a perfect opportunity to come down, touch the products, see the staff, ask any questions you may have, and see what's new and exciting in the four wheel drive industry. Hello, my name is Graham Davis. I'm from Hamilton Holden. Just here showcasing our 4x4 range of cars, Colorado and Colorado 7s. These are the MY14 models that are due to come out early next year, but we've got them here for a bit of a sneak peek. Fantastic, beautiful new cars, new colours. The 4x4 and Adventure Show is a great opportunity for people to come down, speak to some specialised staff about four wheel drives and your needs, what you'll need for your certain situation. G'day, I'm Tom, I'm from Narva and Projector. It's a great show for all the full drive accessories that we display here. New this year for Narva, we've got Extreme HIDs and Ultimate 225 HIDs. First time we've been at the show as a corporate display. We have a lot of stockists here, so we've got plenty of opportunity, plenty of product to come and have a look at. Hi, my name's Alan Gray from Twain Tamer, and I haven't seen a show as big as this, I don't think, in my travels. We're very pleased on the Twain Tamer stand to actually have our project vehicle here. Had to come from Melbourne overnight, but it's here, and we've already had a great amount of interest in it. I'd like to just point out, perhaps, that this is the first time that a vehicle has been able to be clear coated with a nice thick coating of clear over bare metal without etching it. It's a new process. The guy wanted a rough old vehicle that was going to be really used. So he's connected me and had it coated and it's been all around the place. The boat show is enormous, they've got some beautiful equipment out there. The four wheel drive people are set up with an enormous amount of product here. I just thought, how many thousands of dollars? You can look around and see almost everything you want here. G'day, my name's Craig Tame. I work for Cotton Tire Service, which represents Mickey Thompson Tires in South Australia. Pleased to be a part of the event. It's a great place to showcase all your wares and also to release a new product. We've got the new Mickey Thompson ATZ P3 being released here today at the show. Now, it's been a fantastic weekend. It's been really, really busy and some great things to see. I'm Ian Digby from the Four Wheel Drive and Adventure Show in Adelaide. So we provide a good value event for anyone involved in the leisure and outdoor pursuits. There's something for everybody here. We have an extensive range of tents and all the other accessories and prerequisites that you might be looking for. And of course, you can't tow a boat or tow a camper trailer without a good four wheel drive. And we have an excellent selection from all the major brands. So come down and join us with a solid three days of action, power-packed entertainment.
Hi, my name's Simon, otherwise known as Meerkat. This is my rig, this is a Hilux 2007. Uh, she's had the lift kit, she's had all ball bars, side steps, all the lights put in. Uh, there's a few more things, like I want to get front lockers all fitted and canopy all fitted, personalised tints. She's been to Love Day a couple of times. We've got the big camp trailer, so she pulls that along with the family all the family weekends away. So the plan I want to do is a desert. I'd like to get up there and have a go at that. So we're here at Love Day for the 2014 Mister, and we're just waiting to get out on the playground. For information on how to be one of the lucky Your Rig winners, keep an eye on the Forward Drive TV Facebook page for updates. And each weekly winner takes home a copy of Blitz magazine, a copy of Wild Deer and Hunting Adventures magazines, an electric blue Spanset snatch strap, a Manel Motors stubby holder, a litre of emergency gear oil thanks to 360 gearboxes, a stubby of Bundaberg ginger beer, an any sharp knife sharpener thanks to Keesler, a set of the stronger than standard expander pegs, a 12 volt small device solar charger thanks to Roller Solar, a Mean Mother recovery strap and drying bag, a copy of Bowhunter magazine, one of the new Nava pocket LED lights, a Nava palm LED light, a DP chip stubby holder, a DP chip diesel power hat, a bottle of responsive additive thanks to responsive engineering, a pair of four drive TV stickers, an ARB 4B and Ariel drink bottle, an ARB LED headlamp, a pair of handheld UHF radios in the Oricom UHF tradie pack, a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's dipping, basting and marinating sauce. And it's all neatly packaged up in an ARB cargo gear carry bag. So I'd like to say a big thank you to Four Wheel Drive TV for the packs they give us, all the prizes and for letting me show off my rig. Hello, I'm Dave from Performance Exhaust in Ringwood. Today we're going to be fitting a performance exhaust system to ARB Corporation's JK Wrangler. You may have seen this vehicle on four-wheel drive TV before. This is ARB's test vehicle. Today we're fitting a custom exhaust system with a good quality Magnaflow stainless steel muffler. Magnaflow mufflers give them a really deep growl. This JK Wrangler has some good quality gear on it. So we're making sure it has a good quality exhaust as well. The benefits of getting a custom system fitted to your Wrangler are a nice quality sound, better economy, more power, and we can ensure the system is tucked up nice and neat and braced and is ready for your four wheel drive off-road experience. An experienced four wheel drive exhaust shop will make sure the system is hung on the hangers correctly, has the correct amount of clearance. With a good quality system, you not only feel it, you'll hear the difference as well. I'm Dave from Performance Exhaust Ringwood. Thanks for watching. Hi, 
I'm Clint Reid from Reedy's 4x4. Today I'm going to show you around our typical country four-wheel drive workshop and all the conversions and custom engineering we get on with here. Typical country four-wheel drive. On with here. These are a couple of the race trucks we've got for the team Reedy's 4x4 racing. We go away and do a lot of winch challenge races. We just competed in an adventure challenge over in Western Australia, which was great fun. The one I'm leaning on here is a GU with an LS1 in it, and the one behind me is a GQ with a 383 Chev in it. 383 is a great vehicle, heaps of torque over the LS1. The LS1 is a lot faster off the line and, and faster on the straight and narrow. But they're both great trucks, both represent Reedy's 4x4 here, and we have a lot of fun racing them. This customer, Darren Hickman, come to us with this with a car. He had a 200 series that he loved going away four driving in the high country. He come to us and wanted me to build him a car that he could go away in the high country without blowing dips and CVs. Now I said to Darren, what does he want? Darren's a sprint car race driver, so uh, he loves his V8s. So he didn't really care about putting a few more dollars in for fuel. So we set him up with an LS2. We bought this car for $6,000 as a 2.8 GU. We got it registered in his name. Then after hanging around for us with a bit, Darren decided that he wanted the suspension and stuff that we had. So we fitted some Fox shocks, some hydraulic bump stops. We've braced the diffs, braced the chassis. We've put lockers in it. We've spent about $60,000 on this car, getting up to where it is today. But Darren's very happy with his car and the way we set it up. We've also run a high mount with air freeze pull on it. We've got some beadlock rims on it and some pro comp tyres. Also done sliders on this car, made up ourselves. We also, with all our cars, all the latest GUs we do, we always do the fifth gear upgrade on these um, because the, the fifth gear isn't quite long enough on the shaft. So the, the upgrade fifth gear we get, we put in these while we've got the gearbox out. Another thing we do with these cars, every Every GQ or GU we get in, if we pull the, a clutch out of this, we put a new boot on the side of the throwout fork and we also put a breather in the top because there's no point putting a new clutch in someone's car to go out the bush and, and drown it and fill it up with mud so you've got to pull it out the next week. So we always make sure we do that and we always build our cars that, that this car was built in two months straight and he jumped in and went straight up the high country that weekend with no problems. Because we race these cars and, and know what they get up to and we look at the worst things that can happen, we try and do all that in here and, and fix it so the customer doesn't have the problems when they go away. This is Sam, Sam's the manager of the workshop um, that works for me and we bought this car for him three years ago. It was a 2.8 that had blown up and he had a GQ. Now he wanted to jump in something a bit nicer so we put his 4.2 engine into this GU. So by buying a GU for five grand and converting all the stuff from his GQ made a really good car. Now Sammy's just had this at home. We've got some special goodies off UFI and off DC pumps. We haven't tuned it yet but we should be anywhere between 160 and 200 kilowatts depending what tune we put through it. So this diesel's going to fly. A factory turbo comes out with about 85 to 90 kilowatts and the best thing is with the system we put on these, the car's not overheating, the fuel pump and the turbo works together as one and this thing pushed out about 35 pound boost. It really gets up and boogies and really tows the fishing boat along the tracks really good. Here we have another conversion. Everyone thinks on the forums and stuff like that, if you get around there, that three litres don't blow up. Well, how about, yes, they do blow up. This is a factory 4.2 that was started this week. We've dropped the factory 4.2 in where the three litre used to be because the, practically the three litre is a turd. Everyone thinks they're good, and then when they blow up, people change their mind straight away. We've got five of these conversions going on here at the minute, from factory turbos pushing out 90 kilowatts, to uh, old GQ 1988 motors we're putting in cars and putting a UFI system and running 180 kilowatts. So these are a popular thing we do. We're always doing this and we've got quite good at how quick we can do them. The engine mounts all have to come out and put new 4.2 engine mounts in. We've got to play with the air conditioner to make it all work and play with the taco. But other than that, drive in, drive out, we get the job done pretty good. This is a GQ short wheelbase that we've turned into a mid wheelbase. We're working with Craig Marshall in his car. Craig helped me a lot when we we're building our charity challenge car, so I've done the same back for him to help him build this. This car will be running a 20G UFI turbo. It should make over 200 kilowatts. 
it's going to be a weapon this thing once we get up and running. We've done all the bar work from scratch, built our own winch cradles, strengthen our own diffs. The thing with a short wheelbase is they're a bit topsy-turvy when it comes to tipping over and then you've got a long wheelbase wagon which is good for going out and touring but not in the race scene. So the mid wheelbase is a perfect race social car because you can go out there and race it. It's still nice and short and got great approach angles and then you can chuck the kids in the back and go for a drive down the bush. This is a customer's GU. The customer hit a tree in his old GU cab. So we've got him a wagon cab and we've used his back wall and we're matching them together to make him a little bit of an extra cab. It's very hard when, you, when you're doing these to whether a lot of people like a bit of length to have a fridge or something behind, but it starts looking a bit ugly as well. So we try and keep them nice short. We do do custom ones for any size, what people want. This is a look we go for, putting the factory back wall in and making it all look factory out of the showroom. So we do these in extra cabs. We do dual cabs, single cabs, whatever the people want at the time. This car is also going to be running a factory 4.2 conversion in it. The Nissan Patrol factory 4.2 is a, a great little engine. They're one of the best Nissan brought out. They soon do their job and get the customers where they need to go. This was a customer come in with an old 1988 Nissan Patrol, a bit rugged and red, but he had a 4.2 turbo motor in it and he hit a tree in his old car so he wanted to buy this chassis so we converted it for him. This chassis had a 2.8 originally in it, like most 2.8s, she uh, blew up and we've put the 4.2 in them so the, the 4.2 going into this car makes a really nice car. The, the 96 GQ 2.8s are a really neat car, the latest ones they did. So by putting a 4.2 into these makes it a really good car to drive. We've only got a shift one engine mount on these when we do them, not like the three litres where we've got to change the lot. The 4.2 into the 2.8 we only shift one engine mount and get the cars back out there to the customer. This conversion has only taken two days. You've heard it once before and I'll tell you again, here's another three litre that's blown up that we've converted into a 4.2. This car's come in at the start of the week and it's only taken three days. We've got the engine in, all the new engine mounts, the, the gearbox all done up and back in the car ready to go out for a customer. We've got to do the wiring and the radiator and the, put a fuel pump on it. But other than that, they're just great little conversions that when your three litre blows up and you've spent $25,000 and they're then worth $5,000, the best thing you can do is put a 4.2 or an LS or even a Duramax in them. It makes a great little conversion and get your car back out there without, you might spend a few dollars, but at the time when your car blows up, it's really not worth that much anymore. This is our wrecking area of our yard. I was an earth mover and we started racing winch challenge cars and we started needing spares for our own patrol. And there wasn't a full drive wrecker in Bendigo at the time. So now this is us and trying to keep up. We've got 11 acres out here, so we have a lot of cars to wreck and strip. And it's just great that, that most of the time the wrecking helps out the customers' cars we're working on because we've always got bits we can walk down the back, we've got motors we can put in to customers' cars. We buy customers' motors in and then put them in the car so they can get away with a lot cheaper. So most of the time too, the wrecking isn't just for, for selling, it's to, to get the cars back out there fast and we've got all the parts in our backyard. There's nothing worse than waiting for parts to turn up when we can just walk down the back and grab the part we need for a customer. And most of the time, if the, it's a customer that, that works with us all the time, then we look after them with, with their parts. On the hoist here, we have Travis Hornsberg's car here from Geelong. We're currently changing the motor. It's got a common roll three litre in it. We're gonna put an LS2 in it. We've got an internal chromoly roll cage going in to CCDA spec. We've also got some front bar to make for it. And we've got the new red winch that we're putting in and we're gonna run a rear mount radiator in this car. It's specifically built for racing winch challenge. Give her a paint job, paint her the old Reedy's racing yellow and get her on the track. The first big race in Western Australia this year. Here we have another three litre. This time it's a common rail that's fuel pump's gone and the customers decided to put a 4.2 in it. So we've put an old 1988 silver top 4.2 in this, fully rebuilt the engine and it's running a DC pump and a UFI turbo. And this thing's gonna carry about three tonne on the back of it. It's specifically for earth moving work truck for diesel and dirt contracting. And 
we're going to have this thing pulling 160 kilowatts with three ton on the back. So that's that's the beauty of, of setting up your turbo systems right. You can make plenty of power and safe if you go down the right avenues to make the power and, and to make your, your pyros run at a safe range. A lot of people would say that these three litres don't blow up. Here's another one. And this is a later model three litre, uh, the ZD30, the last of them before they went to common rail. They said after 04, well this is an 06 with a hole in the piston. So there you go. And now this car's come in for a factory turbo conversion. It's just come in last week. So we'll pull it all apart. We'll pile the three litre up out the back with the other 1600 three litres I've got out there sitting in the rain. And we'll put another 4.2 conversion in it, which Nissan should have done in the first place. Whatever we build here at Radius 4x4, we go out and test and prove them. We're not a shop in the middle of Melbourne that we put stuff in and hope it works. We go out and test it. We don't have special ramps. We don't have special simulators to make things work. We've got real bush, we've got real water, and we've got real mud to test lockers out, to test ceiling, and to test waterproof. So on the 11 acres out here, you can come out here, we can take you in your car, and we can show you how your lockers work. We can set your car up and explain to you how to drive it and what it can do. A lot of people don't realise that front and rear diff locks in your car make it a four-wheel drive. You don't actually have a four-wheel drive until you put diff locks in your car. We can test what your suspension does. We can take you on the road. We can take you out the bush. We can show you what your suspension actually does in your car. We prove the products so you get a good result. Thanks guys for coming on tour with us at Reedy's 4x4. I hope you like our workshop and the work we do. How you going? I'm Jesse, this is Biff. It's our team, Pirates Life Off-Road Racing. Just down here at Reedy's having an awesome weekend. Good fun racing. We have another car, which is black, which we've been out for six weeks. It didn't get finished. So Thursday, we went out Reedy. We asked to buy the car. Came up Thursday that day with all the winch and the lights and stuff. Spent the night prepping it. Trailed it out here the next day and we're racing. So yeah, one day prep. We've sort of gone for the presentation over preparation. You know, as long as it looks really cool, that's all that really matters. <laughs> So it's just a 4.2 Carby. We didn't get a chance to put the other diffs in it, so it's run GQ diffs, three nines, open centers. It's going a lot faster than we were. We've driven a lot of things we didn't think we could drive. Race a few more events, hopefully. All the other events are coming up. Hopefully cliffhanger next year. Got a few more things that we'd like to do to the car before it's running how we'd ideally like it to run, I suppose. Maybe unjunk at the junker. We nearly lapped the TD in the stadium, so we're pretty happy about that. We don't really have many sponsors. Got unleashed off-road. I'd like to thank Reedy for one, for giving us the shed for the last two days so he could prep the car. Putting on a good event like every time. So much work goes into this and all the marshals and everyone else that came out to watch, help out, all the other teams and everyone here just for like, bringing their good attitude and everyone having a great time. Unfortunately, the end of this week's episode, but we're back bigger and better next week with another great episode of 4 Drive TV. Don't forget 4WheelDriveTV.com.au, your home of all the information, links and prizes. You've got to be in it to win it. And follow us on Facebook. Look up 4 Drive TV. We'd love to have you on board. I'm Simon Christie. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. I'll see you next week. We've got the experts.